Caleb Porter with us once again. Caleb, what's up? How you guys doing today? Doing okay. You? Yeah, yeah, good. On to the next. All right. Focused well, on winning the next game. You sound a little down. Me? Yeah. Bring, bring me down. Bring me yeah. down. Yeah. yeah. We gave you wagon wheel, too. I'm never down. Okay. Never. Good. Uh, well, the good news was you did get multiple goals on the board in the last match. Obviously, the less than good news was the four for the other side. So, uh, what, what's your reaction to to what went on? How do you grow from that? Yeah, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard for people to in our sport look at a score like four two and hear that we actually played better in that game than we did in the game we won versus Chicago. But that was that was the case. That was actually the case. It was the reality. So. You know, we made a few mistakes defensively, but in every analytical category minus the scoreline, we played better in that game. So we're not happy with the result, but the performance w- was actually really good. You know, Red Bull's a better team than Chicago. Um, they punished us in a few moments, but, mm. you know, I love our fight. We, we fought back 1-1. We fought back to 3-2. Um it wasn't a 4-2 game. You know, there were a lot of encouraging signs in that match. And it's important to also remember that we've played four or five on the road. So we're back at home now. We have four or five at home. Next six of the – or six of the next eight at home. Um, so, you know, it's going to be an important stretch for us to pick up points. Uh, you're obviously the coach, and cautions happen within a game. But a guy like Tomas Shankle, who's scored in three – or has goals in, in three straight games – He's suspended because he's got, what, uh, five cautions in his last 11 games? How do you handle that as the coach? I mean, yellow cards in our sport, are, they ha- they happen. You know, I mean, the play, if you saw the play where he got his fifth yellow, um, there's, there's nothing he could do different there. He's, he literally tries to, to slide to tackle a ball. And so, I, I you know, some people might think yellows are for, for bad behavior, but in our sport, yellow cards just happen when you, you have a foul gone wrong. Um, you know, so people are going to pick up yellow cards in our sport. So, you know, how do I handle it? You know, we don't like it because he's out. Yeah. Um, but, you know, he's done nothing wrong to get yeah. those five yellows in the first 11 games. How do you, how do you fill his void? I maybe rephrase that. Though. Yeah, it's tough to lose him because he's playing well. Um but uh, Giacomo Vrioni got a goal last game, which was good. Carlos got a goal last game. So those two guys are more than capable of, you know, you know, stepping up in his absence. Um, we have a decision to make now on the wing. You know, we've got Dylan Barrero, who's coming back from injury. Um, probably not, you know, match fit enough to start, you know, but do we go with him and then get him out of the game or do we bring him in second half? Um, or do we start Ima Boateng, who actually came in off the bench and, and set up uh, a great cross and got an assist to Giacomo? So that's the big decision, you know, that we need to make in this in this game. Uh, after Chicago, we wanted to keep continuity. Uh, unfortunately, we lost Ryan Spaulding the day before the match to sickness, so we had to shift. Uh, I'm sure, you guys heard we have to shift our right back, who is our third right back, um, to left back. And he's a right-footed left back, you know, and and so that's kind of some of the issues we've been having is, you know, we can't keep continuity because we've had, you know, sickness or injury, and we're we're on our, you know, third third left back, our third right back right now, um, you know, so we're surviving a little bit there, but I do like that we're playing well, we are playing well, and you know, if you don't watch the game, you don't know the nuances of the game, then. You know, that falls on deaf ears, and people are like, what's this coach talking about? But I don't care. You know, we're we're progressing. We're improving. The guys are actually playing with a lot of confidence. Um, you know, we have a good mentality right now. Um, I'm, I'm encouraged by the progress. All right. Well, staying uh, within this vein of uh, positivity, you know, despite the start, you've got four of the next five at home, and right now – four points out of the playoffs. So, you know, two-thirds of the season left to go. Are you still feeling like there's plenty of hope left and there's plenty to be playing for right now? Yeah, of course. That's why I said I'm not I'm not down. I'm actually really encouraged. Um, you caught me after training when, when I maybe need a coffee. But, 
and I've done a few interviews already today, but uh, no, I'm I'm actually very positive right now. And you know, I li- I like the group we've been playing. I like how they're fighting. I really do. I like how they're fighting, and uh, you know, every single guy that we've been playing recently is is improving and playing better. And the transition to our game model is is coming. Um, it, it's definitely coming. So I'm I'm totally encouraged to uh, you know to get get back on track. And with these home games coming up, it's a great opportunity for us. We have 35, at last I checked, 1,000 fans that are going to be at this game on Saturday. So that's exciting. It's it's getting warmer here. Is it? Uh, not, not today, but, uh, <laughs> you know, it's getting warmer, which means fans are going to come out. And uh, the vibe's good. You know, the vibe's good right now. We do, like you said, we have a ton of ton of time left in the season. And I've been a part of teams that have squeaked in the playoffs and won MLS Cup. So it, it's really about peaking at the end of the year. And, you know, if we get in, we'll, we'll have a puncher's chance. So this week, you don't have to compete with a Celtics or Bruins playoff game. And also, you don't have to compete with the Apple TV paywall. This game, this match is in front of the paywall. You don't have to pay for it. So what what reason would you give someone right now to sell the team? For, for someone who might be considering checking out this this on Saturday, What's the reason to be tuning in? Yeah, because I think people are going to start to see that the way we play is an exciting brand, you know, and, you know, it maybe didn't seem like that early in the year as we're evolving, but uh, we're scoring more goals. We're controlling games. We're becoming a very good passing team. The team is, is fighting. Um, and we need their support. You know, if if they want to have a team that's in the playoffs and competing for trophies, we we need to start building a fortress at home. And to do that, we need fans at the games that are loud and proud and um and 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 and, and you know fighting for us as well. And you know, we're gonna start getting results to to match their passion. All right, Caleb. Appreciate the time as always. Yeah, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Take All care. Right. Have a great Take day. Care. All right, take it easy.